Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Fay. You're with another episode of Rune Factory: Tides of Destiny. Time to go to bed. All right, making a big progress. We'll win the ladies. We almost have everyone to ten relationship. And we're gonna start getting the slew of confessions. Uh, today is a Tuesday, so we can also get another candy event if we if we talk to her. Um, all right, let's see our our items. What do I need to make? I have so many accessories, but not necessarily Sierra's favorite. Uh, I probably could just give her some of these though to get them out of my inventory. I give her back Lucky Strike. <laughs> it's a pretty necklace. Maybe these multiple gold bracelets that I have. All right, uh, yeah, I could probably afford to just give her some normal, normal stuff. Do I have like everything else food-wise? I could use a ratatouille. All right, might have to go back if I forget something. Ratatouille. All right, let's befriend. Let's befriend people. We'll probably have some more requests on the board as well. I think we still have a request from Lily. Good morning. Good morning. Did I make a fruit parfait today? I did not. Well, hold your horses. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta cook. I gotta cook some ice cream. Very soon, we won't need to worry about any of this anymore. No more, no more cooking once we get everyone to ten friendship. Kind of a bummer for them, but. <laughs> Actually, do I want to get rid of... I like Sierra's bracelet, the corded braid. I'll, I'll give her Lucky Strike back. I need to, I need to empty out... I need to empty out my inventory a little bit. I love holidays because I don't have to work at the store. I can play outside or lounge around the house all day. I wish every day was a holiday. Don't you agree, Aiden? The world would fall apart. <laughs> Oh, Aiden. Aiden, is there any particular girl that you're fond of? I would say you. What makes you ask that? Oh, no particular reason. Just wondering. I say you and you're like, oh gosh, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> Here you go. Recently, some people have been coming to the island just to hear me sing. <laughs> I'm happy, but I also feel kind of shy about it. There we go, Makoto. Have a Timpura bowl. I... Good morning. I should have known you'd have a book of secrets. <laughs> mm. Once I tried to help a cat that was stuck in a tree. But for some reason, I got stuck and the cat made it made it down on its own. Hmm. I've never liked cats since then. <laughs> uh, the cat didn't need your help. But you shouldn't be mad at it for it. You know, I think you look really nice in women's clothes, Makoto. V what are you talking about? Me in women's clothing? Apologies, please. Uh, oh, shy. Alright, you are mopping. Yeah, the sisters like rotate what jobs they do. Like sometimes they mop, sometimes they sweep, sometimes they wipe and wipe and counters. Good morning. All right, we do have a Lily. We got Lily, Odette, and Makoto. I think Lily, we could have gotten it yesterday, but I think there's like a limit of how many requests can be on the bulletin board. Oh. Oh my, Mikado wants to cross swords with me! Alright, let's do this one. Let's go see Lily. What food are you going to give me? And will it poison me? I saw on the bulletin board that you need someone to taste test something for you. <laughs> oh, you don't mind? Wonderful. I made a few dishes. Will you tell me what you like best? I think you have a choice here. Um, ba ba ba. I want to say the refreshing one is pickled turnips. Yeah, the fr refreshing, you'll get nine pickled turnips. Robust is salted salmon, and the rich one is strawberry jam. I mean, I can have a ton of strawberries, so... Uh, I feel like this one is probably... 
the best one. Any of them. It doesn't really matter, though. They're not super rare. But I feel like salmon is a little bit harder to come by than turnips and jam. And strawberry jam. I'll say robust. Alright then, how about this? You're made a lot. Of course, more food means more practice. Eat as much as you like. And it's edible. We got some salted salmon. Alright, luckily all the girls that are on the request board are just like right next to each other. Here's our debt. We have a new dish. We'll be really revealing a new dish. Come and have a taste. Uh, can I do this while you're not open? Time to go see Odette. Hey! There you are. You're late, but it's 6 a.m. Late? There wasn't any specific time posted with that request. What do you want me to do? Wake up before 6? <laughs> you came to help with the taste testing, right? Come on, get over here! Eat more food, you fool! Oh, we're having- we're having breakfast with- with all the girls. That was so delicious! I can't eat another bite! I wish I could eat more. Yeah, everything was great as usual. I'm glad- I'm glad. I was feeling pretty confident about those. Thanks for helping out. I boxed up my carbonara for you to take home. Thanks for feeding me. No problem. I had fun making it. <laughs> Food is meant to be shared. And when you cook, you need to have someone you care about in mind to do your best. <laughs> I think I know why you're such a good cook, Odette. Thinking about all the people you love while you're, while you're cooking. Alright, request complete. Got one uh, carbonara. More food. Um. Oh, this is awkward. That's right, the last event was like a little bit awkward. Still haven't made up with her. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we're like, she's offering us more food. Maybe maybe she's just like extending the olive branch. Alright, Makoto wants to cross swords. Are we gonna spar with her? I don't know why it's a two turn up request. There you are. Spawned. So you saw the bulletin board. Ah, about the letter of challenge, right? Could you explain about it? Swordsman's Swordsmen need no reason to fight. Shall we go? A duel to the death. Or just practice. <laughs> Let's just be a fair fight then. Have at you! Ha! Let's fight! Alright, gonna beat up a girl. Or maybe she'll beat up beat us up. <laughs> Darn it! Now oh, did she whack you? Victory is mine. You gotten rusty, Aiden. All that macking with the ladies and not fighting monsters. I must ask you, Aiden. Do you think I'm losing my edge? No, you seem stronger than the last time we fought. Is that so? <laughs> After all, a warrior cannot be their strongest until they have someone to fight for. Oh, she's saying that. Are we are we the reason to fight? <laughs> What's this perspective? Forgive me for the sudden challenge. I needed to test my skill. Just give me a little warning next time, okay? <sighs> Forgive my lack of composure. That's right. Would you use this sword? With your skill, you should be able to handle it well. Hope you'll take it as a token of my appreciation. And we got- do we get Muramasa for our efforts? Now we gotta steal sushi. <laughs> Which at this point, we have graduated from that weapon. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess it is on brand. It's a sword from the east. Said that there's nothing this blade cannot cleave. Can it cleave stone? Like in the animes? Uh, okay, so Sonya's there. We don't really need to talk to Sonya though. Let's go this way. Actually. <laughs> Alright, just had to double check. Like, sometimes the request gives you a big boost, but it was not a big enough boost. So definitely tomorrow will be getting some. <laughs> it's gonna be the same day as our date with Sonya. We're gonna start getting like confessions left and right. It's like, oh man, we're just a scumbag here. Luckily, there's no jealousy system in this game. Uh, of all things, I do not have. Good job. Uh, pom -pom oh. Ow. Oh. I'm gonna give up on making a stuffed animal. Ah. <laughs> Why in the world? It's not like you. It's not like you to quit on anything. Huh? Don't interrupt. I was saying I'm gonna give up on making a stuffed animal. Is what I was thinking, but I decided not to. 
Ah, uh, okay, you had me scared there. <laughs> it's not nice to cut people off before they're done speaking. But it sounds like you really were shocked that I was going to quit. Like, stop. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no, really, make me, make me a stuffed animal. I want a new decoration. Be cool if it actually, like, popped up in my house or something as, like, a furniture item. But I don't know where it would go. Uh, okay, so I need some teardrops for... I know I have some. I remember the Trail of Tears. Am I crazy? Uh... I know I have some. I'm. I must be blind. I didn't craft with all of them, did I? That's impossible. I just. I'm probably just blind. Uh. I farm so many of them. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> it's the numbers blocking the <laughs> the numbers blocking the item icon. Like, I know I farmed so many tortoises to get tortoise shells, and I know I got more more teardrops and tortoise shells. So like, I remember. Full me game. Uh, are you? Where are you? You're already cleaning something. I'm already getting tea party ready. Just had breakfast. <laughs> Just gonna have some tea tea as well. Here. Goodness me. Good morning. <laughs> oh my, how may I help you? Oh, okay. I, you were the first one. Other than Sonia. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, to you? Then let's talk. It begins. The cavalcade of confessions. Um, you know how I asked your advice the other day? Asked my- oh. Right, about that strange man that asked me out. Uh, so, so what did you do? Yeah, you found your answer, Electra. I wouldn't want to date someone I don't know at all. And besides... I mean, you could get to know him better, but... <laughs> I already like someone else. I like you too, Electra. <laughs> That's tough, buddy. Uh, also, you like you. we like her too, or else we won't be able to date her. Really, really. Of course. I'd never kid about something like that. I like you too, Electra. Will you go out with me? I'm so happy. I thought you'd never ask. I love you. That's not what the text box says. I I'm so happy you feel the same way about me that I feel about you, Aiden. Oh, it's like a dream. I'll never forget today as long as I live. Oh, hugs. Don't tell Sonya about this. <laughs> Added second girl to harem. I am now dating Electra. Now, we, we can't ask her out on a date, but I think we can only have one date, like, active at a time. Uh, so, yeah, once we... Go out with Sonia tomorrow. We can we can set up another one. I feel like I can get through any hardship as long as you're with me, Aiden. Don't worry, Electra. I'll help you through any hardship. Thank you, Aiden. I'm gonna take on your debts by by. I mean, Aiden could probably afford it. <laughs> like I just gotta sell enough lace curtains. <laughs> My uncle lives in Cardia. Doesn't live with his daughter. He must be so lonely. But I know he does it for her sake. Alright, now you're back to cleaning. I mean, she would be ideal housewife. Like, unlike Bianca, she does know... She does know how to cook and clean. 
So she's not reliant on her maids. Yeah. And I mean, she's smart, has a noble upbringing. The only downside is you have to take on her family debt, most likely. <laughs> the, the crippling debt. Hello, Elena. I have crystal. I come bearing crystals. How you feeling? I want an older sister. A sweet, pretty older sister. I mean, you could put James in like some girly clothes and just pretend. It's a little late to ask for an older one. Poor James. Shut up! I want to keep my brother Ed also have an older sister. I love sunny days because my golems paint dries so much faster. Hey, hey! I thought of a way to launch Ymir to the moon! Can I do it? No way. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna be adding some rocket thrusters to Ymir. I mean, I mean Aiden did want him to fly. <laughs> but he might not fly in a way that he imagined. Uh, okay, so Pandora's on the move, and then we can hit up Candy. There you go. It is a this. All right, and Violet's here too. You have not neglected your morning audience with me. Huh. Okay, we still, <laughs> we still need to hash things out with her dad, but. Not, not, she's not aware of his ex existence, though. It's not like Aiden and Sonya who could talk to each other. Here's an emery flower. Oh. Good morning. Most people come to the clinic when they're sick. But you come even when you aren't sick. Oh, oh dear, what am I saying? What's the point of being in love? Why do we fall in love when it's so painful? What's up? What? Did I say that out loud? Nah, I didn't really hear you very well. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> uh, Candy, you're by the church bell. Good morning. Good morning, Candy. Hello. Hi, Candy. Uh, do you think you could come with me to the Dragon Shrine again today, perhaps? Sure, but actually I know of even a more incredible place. How about I take you there instead? A more incredible place? As we lure the child away. Alright, we're on, we're on our spring island. Here's the spirits. Incredible! I've never seen so many spirits gathered in one place! Is this a Rooney? No, not quite. It's... a spirit? Yeah, it's kind of weird that, like, they look like Roonies, but they, they are distinct from each other. <coughs> Candy, do you know about spirits? Yes! There are spirits all over the world! When these spirits gather together, their forms can sometimes change. Often they are bestowed upon people, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> or the land as rune crystals. But in some regions, they influence crop development as runies. That's why spirits are given life within the earth. Oh, well, what I really don't understand is why these spirits change form like this. Wow, you really know your stuff. What we're studying right now in school, anyway. Thank you for today. Um, if it's not too much trouble, would you mind escorting me again sometime? I come to the island every Tuesday, so please just come talk to me. Another candy event. Uh, I'm not sure how many there are until you just like plain old just talk to her. <laughs> it comes like an NPC like Annette and Tabitha. My birthday is on the 27th day of spring. This is my school uniform. All right, we already know about your school uniform. <laughs> that like is too big for you. you Got a big old hat. 
Alright, is that all the gals? I think that's all the gals. I guess we'll... Right? <laughs> Let's go onward to tomorrow and... Yeah, we're gonna start getting all these events done. Yeah, it's so weird. It's just like, I, every time I look at Makoto and Odette, it's like, why are there requests? Like, why, not, why, didn't get, why didn't I get that many affection bonuses with them? Uh, alright, so we got tempura bowl, we need a fruit parfait, and a ratatouille. This will be the last fruit parfait. Ratatouille. I guess I'll make a sun pendant for for Sierra. Although I do like how Lucky Strike looks. Very bold, a bold red. It's like little like sun pendants and star pendants. They just look like like easily cast stuff. Right, I guess I'll save over here and go to bread. Cannot forget Sonya's date. <laughs> I think the gamer might do though. Like even if you did sleep, sleep past it. Today is a long-awaited day. We promised to meet at noon at the church plaza, right? All right, noon at the church plaza. Okay, should be able to remember that. You have a date today. I think you just have to wait for the person to, to get there. Good morning. Okie doke. Time to make my rounds. Sierra, are you asleep? You are not asleep. We're in the store. Excellent. Knock knock. I'm here to date your sister. Here. Hey yo, wanna go have some fun? Alright, let's go, girl. Sweet, let's do it. Where should we go? Oh, why is there fishing music? Well, what am I gonna do? This is serious. What are you talking about? Try to make some sense. Okay. There's a heavy situation. Could you help me? I don't mind. I'm glad to hear that, actually. Huh? A matchmaking? <laughs> yeah, he's the heir to some merchant family we deal with. He's nice, he's responsible, he's rich. Sounds like a good catch, but why- <laughs> but you don't click with him? Hmm. It's not that I don't click with him, it's just that I don't feel like going ahead with it. So that's the deal. When are you supposed to meet him? Right now? <laughs> Procrastinate much? You want me to help you now? Huh? Right now? How about a little more notice? Ugh, but that's not how you operate, huh? So what do you want me to do? Well... And the baby is gonna be like, I object! Why is Joe here? Ah, uh, yes, the impeccable surfboard <laughs> disguise. <laughs> like how Dad just like uses the surfboard to hide behind. What are you two doing sneaking around here? <laughs> is Joe my wingman? That's what I'd like to know. Sierra asked us to watch from here. Hmm, what about you, Joe? <laughs> it's Sierra's matchmaking meeting, right? Who'd want to miss this? Uh, yes, the, the, the biggest form of entertainment. I figured it was something like that. Okay, just don't get in the way. Well, I'm in the middle of cooking, so I'm gonna go. Hey, looks like it's look like looks like it started. <laughs> he asked, and what might be your personal interest be? Classic matchmaking meeting line. <laughs> can, can no one see him? <laughs> Bismarck is probably just like. <sighs> But, but like Beatrix and the dude, like they're, at least they're facing away. <laughs> That's what these things are like. <laughs> he actually said, "Why don't we take a walk together?" Classic. Wow. 
Oops, they're coming this way. Hide in the stairs. Oh. Knocked me over. Uh, matchmaker. And who you might you be? I'm Sierra's boyfriend. This is tantamount to confessing. What in the world do you mean, Sierra? I go Aiden confesses versus the other way around. Oh, where's Joe? He booked it. He left me behind, man. He ran off. That little. Uh -huh. Um. Sorry. I ruined your matchmaking by blurting out that crazy stuff. What? What'd you say, Aiden? Could you say that a little louder? No. no. Alright, so the, the, the dialogue's a little soft, but I mean, we've had that before. Are you serious? I was totally serial. You mean about being your boyfriend? Yeah. I'm serious. That's how I really feel. I love you, Sierra. I want you and I to be a couple. But, but, I'm not just a girly kind of girl. I'm rude and irresponsible. And all that is part of what I love about you. So... Yeah. And I love you too. I have since way back. But I was worried that if I let that feeling out, we wouldn't be able to keep having fun like we used to. Now I'm so happy you said it. We're gonna have good times together. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you're now dating Sierra. <laughs> I feel like Sierra is a, is a very, I don't know, in, the, in a world with all these colorful characters, she, she feels very basic in terms of like backstory, but I mean her personality is pretty quirky. No, I can't hate her, but she she is like kind of like on the bottom <laughs> of my tier list of candidates, sadly. Uh, who do I need to talk to? Everybody? Probably everybody. Alright. There's Makoto and Odette. The girls who are behind, hanging out together. Good morning. No one has wisened wisened up that I that I'm dating three girls now. <laughs> All right, Ratatouille for Yowie. I see Violet over there. Did you make this? Good morning. Tomorrow's our monthly sale. <laughs> Items will be thirty percent off the regular price, so make sure you stock up. Thirty percent off! Wowie, wow. He's the last Emery flower that I probably will ever give you. <laughs> oh, how pretty! Good, good morning. Um, Can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. Thank you very much. Want me to stop you? <laughs> but I, I promised myself I'd tell you today. Yeah, you can't run away. It's your tenth friendship event. There's nothing else after this. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I. I've loved you ever 
ever since we first met. Who? Me? <laughs> yes. So, uh, would you go out with me? <laughs> you better say yes, or else, or else, or else we might not live to see another day. I'd love to, heart. joke about something like that. I love you too, Violet. Oh, you, you mean it? I'm not dreaming, am I? I'm so happy. So why am I crying? Crying because you're happy. No hug? No hug, but we're dating Violet. And maybe maybe Aiden still sees her as like little little sister. Little sister vibes. Alright, well we're over here. Let's go Father Marowin in front of Electra. Because <laughs> that's not weird. <laughs> good, good morning. We're having a sale. <laughs> Rides are so beautiful, aren't they? I'd love to be a bride someday. Oh, no, I wasn't applying anything by that. But really? Imagine your, your, your gown it almost looks like a bridal gown, just gotta swap the color. Alright, have some pom pom flowers. Pom pom grass. Oh. What? Do you have business with me? Could we talk a little? Uh huh. Talk with you. Hmm, I guess so. Just a little bit. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Huh? What's wrong? This isn't like you. Yeah. You're right. Actually... I've received word from home that they want me to go back. Oh no! Go back home to the Dark Elf homeland? That was like an issue with Tabitha as well. Yes. The Descent Coquis don't have any money to pay a maid. I haven't been paid any wages in months. My family says that it makes no sense for me to stay in a house like that. I mean, they, they, they want what's best for you, but I guess they just don't understand the whole situation. I understand that they are worried about me, but... I want you to stay here, Heart. Huh? What do you mean by that? Why would you... I'm gonna tie you down <laughs> and keep you here. I don't want you to go back to the Dark Elf homeland. I want you to stay here on Feneth Island so I can always talk to you. So we can go have fun together. And of course, so you can cook for me. <laughs> Serve me, woman! All kidding aside, I really hope you'll stay here. Merwin, I know you must miss your homeland. But please, stay here for me. Because... Because I love you! Huh? But, but... <laughs> Some of these confessions are... are kind of nice when... when, like, Aiden actually confesses his love. I mean, they're... they're different. Like, instead of the girl always, always confessing her feelings. Do you feel the same way about me? But... I'm a dark elf. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of other kooky characters here. Dark Elf or human, it doesn't matter. You're the woman for me. Y you love me? Truly? Who doesn't want an elf bride? Didn't you say that you came to be a bridge between Dark Elves and humans? You and I as a couple would be a bad example of that. I always thought that love between a Dark Elf and a human I mean, there's like half elves running around, so I don't think so. So, when I started feeling something for you, I just tried to hide it. But now I'm happy. So happy. 
happy. I love you too. From now on, I'm your woman, and you're my man. I'll never ever let you go. Hugs. Oh, we get a hug with Marowyn. All right, that one. That one was a nice one. I'm now dating Marowyn. <laughs> I feel like trash though. We keep we keep getting our uh, emotions pulled back and forth by dating multiple women. Uh, I'll go hit up Elena next, and then Pandora will come out of the loading zone. I have a small crystal for you. Wow. Huh? Do you need something? How about a chat? Oh boy, sounds like a pain. Okay then, but make it good. I went and met with the client for my golems. To apologize. What happened? I explained everything, and they were kind enough to understand. Well, that's good. They they made an unreasonable request, but they probably didn't know that you you were just a one man army here, just making all those golems. They hadn't imagined that I'd be making them all alone. I think it surprised them. I sent all the golems I made prior to collapsing, and they said that was enough. Great, I'm glad it worked out. So, how many did you send? 78. Uh, you were like two off the mark. This is like 80. What? What? That's almost all of them. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted to finish. I see, I see. Sorry about that, then. Maybe you didn't need my help? I mean, she collapsed regardless. No, it's okay. You were worried about me, weren't you? Can I ask you then? Uh, I mean, you know, why were you so worried about me? What? Because I'm in love with you. Because <laughs> for because it is safe to leave you alone. That too. That's that's a valid. <laughs> that's a valid answer. But no, we want we want to have the option to date here because I'm in love with you. What? What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, Could you say that again, please? Clear the wax out of your ears. Because I'm in love with you. I worry about you because I'm in love with you, Elena. <laughs> You're not hallucinating. Hey. Love? The Talk to you a moment. You love who? Me? This has golems on the brain. You're not joking, are you? Not making fun of me knowing how I feel. Of course not. I'd never tell that sort of lie. Hold on. How do you feel? Is it mutual? Well, I've liked you for a long time. Really? I had no idea. In that case, so maybe you'd like to be my girlfriend? Girlfriend? <laughs> Don't tell James. I don't really understand how to be someone's girlfriend. To be honest, I don't know much about being someone's boyfriend. So let's work it out together. Don't worry, Ada's gonna be getting a lot of practice being a boyfriend. Yeah, okay. I think we can do that. I love you. You're now dating Elena. <laughs> Alright, another girl, another girl off the list. Who's left today? Pandora? Is that it? We, we still have to get Odette and Mikoto. So yeah, it's just, it's just Pandora. Oh wait, Lily. Lily. Did I not give her a gift? She must be somewhere. Okay, she's on the move. We'll do Pandora next. Uh, I need to give you a gift. It is a, this is a rune crystal. 
Oh ho, you have come just at the right time. I wish to speak with you. About what? <laughs> oh, nothing much. One moment, let me explain. Confession time, and is your dad gonna be here? Recently, I've often found myself dozing off without realizing it. Perhaps I should ask Violet to give me an ex... Sam... Min... Nate... Human! I will hear your reply. Before I give it, I want to ask you one question. Is what you're doing now going to lead to happiness for Pandora? Hmm. Happiness? Beings of dark magic have no need of happiness. We require only fear and to rule. Therefore, all emotions contrary to that, such as love, shall be obliterated from Pandora's heart forever. Now, human, your reply. End your involvement with Pandora, or suffer my wrath. I choose none of the above. <laughs> In a close meeting, you show that you are a great fool. I will now reduce you to ashes. Can you speak a little louder, Belzegor? Why do you throw away your own life like this? Pandora is a complete stranger to you. Pandora is no stranger. Pandora is... <laughs> He's either friends on her or very special to me, heart. That's it. It's that emotion of yours that is weakening Pandora. Her failure to have conquered the world in spite of her incomparable power is all due to that cursed emotion, that weakness of the soul. N no. Pandora, you woke up? Inconceivable! The hex I laid cannot be broken! Your feelings make me happy. And what I feel about you... Hmm. I finally realized what it is. The feeling called love. Correct, my daughter. It is love that weakens your soul and drags you down. An emotion no being of dark magic should harbor. No! You are mistaken! It is the strongest emotion of all! Strong enough to break your hex so that I can speak with you now! But with such an emotion dragging you down, you will never conquer the world. Only an arc sorceress steeled in ruthlessness can conquer the world! Why did you not conquer the world in your own day, father? Nope. She has a point. Why didn't he do it? <laughs> Why is it Pandora's job? Uh, oh, uh, about that. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> are you putting a little bit too much weight on Pandora's shoulders here? I know why, father. It was because of mother. Because you... They had their own love story. Silence! Speak not one more word! Never! I am an arch sorceress! I take commands from no one! She did it. undid her own hex. Hear me, Archfiend Belzegor! People cannot be ruled by force, but love makes it possible. The proof of that is that Mother still rules over you, Father. 
To rule the world is beyond my power. All I wish to rule is the love of my heart. So be it. If you are willing to speak so boldly, there's nothing more for me to say. But hear me, daughter. If your heart should ever change, I will appear again and conquer the world by force. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just imagine, like, Aiden cheating on Pandora. I'm like, oh, oh, well, the world's over now. So be it. But my feelings will never change for all eternity. Let us hope not. I myself would not wish to be separated from your mother. He gone? He's gone, but not really? I think he has departed. I guess so. About what you said earlier? I heard you correctly, did I not? When you said that I am very special to you? You heard it correctly. Well, I... It's just like I said. I love you. I really love you. Duh. I knew that. <laughs> what? He is a formidable man who can make an arch sorceress blush like this. I I I've conquered Pandora's heart. Perhaps it will take more time to fully conquer him. Oh my. <laughs> We're gonna be using that sort of- that sort of, uh, wordplay. <laughs> Alright, we're now dating Pandora! Okay, good, I can leave the room. I was worried that this room just, like, is gonna lock me in here. Uh, last is Lily, and then I have to be careful not to go to bed, because I still have a date today. <laughs> it's- I, I guess it is kind of easy to forget when we have, like, so many events back to back to back. You are going to take a bath. Where are you, Lily? Lily! Come back! I have to add you to my harem! Alright, last fruit parfait. Ooh, fruit parfait! Good morning. Oh, hi, Aiden. Do you have a moment to chat? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. I made breakfast for my sisters and Sonia the other day, and they all said it was good. Oh, really? You should invite me next time. I don't know about that. I'll think about it. What's stopping you? Well, maybe it's selfish of me, but there's something about cooking for you, just you that I really enjoy, Aiden. Wanna be exclusive? You've given me so much support. I still wouldn't be able to cook a thing if not for you. You're so nice to me. Why is that? Huh? Well... Because I love you. <laughs> Oh? Do you really mean that? Of course I do. I wouldn't kid about something like that. Gestures to all the other women in my harem. Lily? I want... You and I to be a couple. I'm sorry. I can't be with you that way. Oh, why not? I mean, I can't see myself being with anybody that way. Why? Why? I have to know the reason. My job is... is to take care of my younger sisters. To make sure that Odette and Violet are, are happy. That's, that's like, kind of ironic, because Odette feels the same way. She's like, I can't... I can't date someone, like, before my older sister. Just like, feels like Lily should go first. Unless I can learn to do chores around the inn properly, 
I can never take care of them the way I should have been from the start. I think they can take care of themselves. That's why you've been studying cooking and practicing cleaning and laundry? Yes. They've spent so many years handling all the cooking and cleaning that I couldn't do. I need to start repaying them. I hope you understand. Of all the... Of course I don't understand! Do you really think that's what they want from you? How upside down is that? Making yourself miserable isn't going to make your sisters happy. Have you ever heard Odette and Violet talking about you? What they want most is for you to be happy. That's what being a family is all about. Yeah, not to drag each other down and make, make each other miserable. So don't think they wouldn't want you to seize a chance at happiness. I swear to you that I will make you happier than anyone else ever could. So... I want you to be with me. You mean, you really like me that much? Even though I'm such a klutz? Like you even better that way. Of course. I don't care about that. You've been working so hard to improve yourself. All to make your sisters happy. I've never met anyone with such a kind heart. You've made me so happy. You've made me so happy. And I'll do everything I can to keep it that way. No. Oh. <laughs> Hugs. You're dating Lily. Alright. That's the last one today. Let us... Take a little walk on Ymir, and then it'll trigger Sonya's, Sonya's date event, and then we can set up another one. And <laughs> we can, like, sample- have a sampling of girls. I don't think I'll- there's a lot of different date, uh, variants, though, so, I, like, I don't think I'll- I'll do all of them, because that would be too many. Uh, but I know there are YouTube videos that- I think I've actually cropped up recently that go over, like, each date and marriage dialogue, so, yeah, for this I'm just- Gonna pick my favorites. Uh, let's see. Walk until a little bit before 12. I think some girls get there early, and then some girls get to their location late. It <laughs> kind of sucks when, <laughs> when uh, they get there late and they blame you. <laughs> it's like, wait, but I've been here the whole time, waiting. All right, eleven thirty. Let's let's wait it out. Church Plaza. Let's go. We have a gift that we could potentially give them. Uh, but yeah, we don't really have the engagement ring, so we you can't get married 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 on your first date. Uh, you have to do one date, and then Father Gerard will put up a request, and then you can make an engagement ring, and then you can give that on the next date. That you set up. Oh, she's here early. Uh, <laughs> ah, <dude. laughs> All right, Sonya's more punctual. Good morning. Let's make today a great day. <gasps> Wait, I thought we were meeting at noon at the church plaza. We are. <gasps> Do I have to wait till twelve? You better not say like, "How dare you be late." Hello, Aiden. Hey, sorry. Were you waiting long? That's okay. I just got here myself. <laughs> oh, good. Now let's have a blast. Okay. Uh, you look... <laughs> you look different today. You smell really nice. I like that accessory that I gave you cat ears. You have such nice hair. Everything's nice except for the last one. Although the last one might be like, Oh, you're so like gobsmacked. You can't even say anything. Like she's so beautiful. T took the words away. Uh, let's be creepy. You smell really nice. Uh huh? Th thanks? <laughs> That's nice of you to say. So, uh, what should we do? I know, let's go for a walk. I'm 
don't know. <laughs> this smell nice? I mean, I guess if you are wearing perfume. <laughs> Otherwise, it just seems a little creepy. Huh. Burr, it's cold. It's having a nice little sit. It really is. Want to go somewhere warmer? Let's go there. No, I want to go to the wedding chapel. Let's go there. But it's always so windy there. It's going to be even colder. I don't mind. Let's go. See the nice. I like how they put more colorful like ribbons on it during the winter. Otherwise, it would just be white and boring looking. Wow, it's so pretty. It really is. It wasn't decorated like this back then, was it? <laughs> the church back then was nowhere near as nice as this one. Oh, they're thinking about the distant past. It wasn't. I do feel like the Dragon Shrine is a lot nicer now. It got nicer and nicer as people worked on it a little bit each year. Oh, I see. I guess that's what you call the March of Progress. And that's what the legendary golem tried to destroy. I'm so glad we won. I always knew you would win. Oh, really? Thanks. Okay, yum. <laughs> Thanks. Like, obvious answer. After all, I do know exactly what you like. I'll make lunch for you next time, too. Didn't you want to go to the chapel? That's right, I forgot. gonna evoke a confession. <laughs> oh, bless you. Are you okay? If you're cold, we should go someplace warm. I'm sorry, but really, I'm fine. What is this feeling? I'm so in love with Sonia. This is my only chance to make the big decision. I'll regret it if I don't. But you can't. Now, this would be your prop to give a ring, but we we don't have an engagement ring, so I'll just give you a, ri a wind ring. Here you go, present. Thank you. It's so nice to get a present during a date. I'm so glad you and I were able to stay in this time. Okay. We can't do anything else, so... We just, like, kind of have to leave. It, it feels weird. Like, ah, uh, like, I'm just stuck here. <gasps> Had a lot of fun today. Let's do this again. The church was so pretty. 
think that the snow was a present for us. Okay. So, I guess I could set up another date? <laughs> Not sure if I have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, who would I want to go out with? I... Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna get married yet. But I'll, I'll go on a few dates. Uh, and then I'll get married after, like, maybe seeing all the festivals with Sonya. We'll do, like, a quick festival extravaganza. Uh, who should, maybe Sierra? Like, I'll pick someone that, like, I probably wouldn't marry, but, like, might have fun with. Let's do Sierra. I, I like Sierra, and she's just not my, she's just not my favorite, because there's just so many other more colorful people. Hi! Hi! What's up? Talk. You wanna go on a date? Not just go have fun, but go on a date, huh? I don't know. Nuh-uh, I'm totally up for it. When? I can go any time, even right now. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay, why don't you meet me at noon on winter 22nd at the church plaza? Okay, so we have another another winter date. I was wondering, like, if it was, like, by a month basis, or if you could, like, technically trigger a date, like, within the same month. Because I kind of want to coordinate the weddings. Uh, cause I need to have a wedding in spring, summer, uh, fall and winter to get the four wedding memories, so I th I, I was thinking like maybe doing two seasons with Aiden and then two seasons with Sonya. Uh, and then that will unlock all the memories. Alright, so okay. winter 22nd. I'll ask Bismarck for that day off. <laughs> and if not, then I'll just blow off work anyway. <laughs> you need permission, right? Just ask for forgiveness later. <laughs> Alright. We're a scumbag. We just set up another date right after. <laughs> uh, winter 22nd. Uh, I think I might have to sleep. We'll do one more day. I know it's like going for a long time. Oh, okay. So right after Gerard has, has the request for me. I wanted to give a gift to a certain someone, but I don't have enough materials. I will accept the request. Time to go see Gerard. Uh, I think this might be different. Depending if you're playing as Aiden or Sonya. I think Sonya just gets... She just gets the recipes. Uh, but Aiden has to give some materials to Gerard. In exchange, he'll also receive an engagement ring. Uh, for the work. Uh, but yeah, it's not like you get gypped out as Sonya. Uh, Sonya just gets the engagement ring within the date event. Two of these, and I need a diamond. Luckily, I have uh, luckily I have so many diamonds. And then we'll go to bed, and then we'll trigger Odette and Makoto's Makoto's uh confession event. That'll be all the girls. We'll just have to worry about festivals and dates, and then and then we'll do marriage. Kind of weird wrapping wrapping things up. We're wrapping things up with Aiden pretty soon. <laughs> oh my! Why hello there. Uh, Gerard, I heard you don't have enough materials. <laughs> oh, Aiden, so you've seen my message on the bulletin board. That's right. I wanted to make a present for someone, but I don't have enough materials. Hmm. I need two pieces of platinum and one diamond. Could you get them for me? <laughs> I'll be sure to give you a reward. <laughs> oh my Gerard. Uh, here is platinum. Very expensive materials. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be waiting for the rest. And I still need one diamond. <laughs> Thank you, now I can make the gift. I'll make it right now, so just wait. All finished? Here, Aiden, this is for you. Why are you giving it to me? <laughs> oh, you're the one I was making it for, Aiden. This is an engagement ring. Oh, Gerard, for me? Oh. If you give it to the one you love in a romantic setting, it becomes a proposal. A proposal? Uh, that's really nice, Gerard, but... <gasps> oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm giving it to you to propose to someone. There's someone you'd like to propose to, isn't there? 
when you've made up your mind of who to propose to, make sure you give it to them and give it to them some more romantic. Let me give you this too. Some rings mean more when you make them yourself, after all. Thank you. I don't know why I thought she's <laughs> dried as fruity, very fruity, okay? Now now it's already forgotten. Good luck. Alright, we got one engagement ring and happiness 101 recipes in case you accidentally lose this engagement ring. You can make another one. <laughs> Maybe get star rank it. It has no effects on it. An engagement ring, symbol, sim, which symbolizes a promise of never-ending love sealed with a diamond. Because I guess diamonds are a girl's best friend. As the diamond industry would want you to believe. Alright, so that's actually all the requests. Uh, we won't receive any more requests uh, for getting people to 10 friendship. Uh, so yeah, now, now we just have requests that are Sonya exclusive. Uh, I guess we can put this away. We don't need- we don't need all this stuff anymore. Mm, I guess I'll keep some of it because I can't- I can't fit. <laughs> can't fit anymore. Anywho. Uh, alright, so it should be in our crafting list. Not the diamond ring. Okay, it's a level 59 recipe. You need another two platinum and a diamond to make it again. Give it to all the girls. <laughs> I wonder if you could- I don't think you can trigger a date after you're married. Uh, I don't- I don't know if there's actually any cheating events like there were in Frontier. Uh, at least they're not noted down. Guess we'll have to do a little experimentation. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you can just propose to multiple women, even though you can make multiple rings. Uh, that also is an item that we have to have on our item own list. Uh, we don't quite have 100% yet, though, so I think we still need some more large crops. And maybe the fish mask from the masquerade. That's the only other item I can think of that I do not own yet. Uh, we will have to save scum for that. Let's go to bed? Let's go to bed. I haven't forgotten anything, have I? I probably should have saved before going to bed. One more day, we just have to wrap up Makoto and Odette, and then we'll have everyone at... Everyone at 10. Guys are having a sale today. Love a temporal bowl. Good morning. Uh, not yet. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just go to sleep again. <laughs> right, a chewy. Did you make this? Good morning. Today's your lucky day. <laughs> All right, having a sale. Today's your. Can I have thirty percent off? On your heart? Can I- can we- can we trigger a vet? I- will just go to bed again. <laughs> Give me your heart, Odette! I already have your sisters! Oops, that's not- don't want to open up the steamer. Let's go to bed. And go to bed. Good morning. Alright, last ratatouille, hopefully. Did you make this? Good morning. Oh, perfect. Do you have a minute? Sure. <laughs> you do? Then come with me. About, about Lily's present that you thought was yours. You're still wearing it. Um... Would you just forget about what happened earlier? What happened earlier? You mean the part where you said you're in love with me? <sighs> That's right. I'm embarrassed that I blurted it out. 
Nah, I won't forget it, heart. Why aren't you giving me a hard time like that? I asked you nicely. <laughs> this is, this is, it might seem like a like we're teasing, but no, I'm not gonna forget about your unintentional confession. I can't just forget what you said. I found out how the person I love feels about me. That's not something I can forget. <laughs> I love you. That's why I can't forget what you said earlier. I'll never forget. Odette. I want... I want to go out with you. What? I... So... What do you say? Yes. Yes, I'm so happy! This makes me so happy! Now I can finally say it! I can finally tell you how much I love you! Aw, oh, I get out. Alright, are now dating Otis. <laughs> Alright, last one. <laughs> The guilt- the guilt is crushing me. Can't have all the girls! Yes, I can! I love a temporal bowl. Good morning. <laughs> my visit is an Aiden. Perfect timing. I'm off to do my patrol of the island. Would you like to come with me? Uh, of course, I'd love to. Ah, uh, excellent. This is where you and I first met. Oh, that's right. I was trying to go into the dragon shrine and you stopped me and <laughs> almost cut me in half. Yes, I thought you were a suspicious person trying to sneak to the dragon shrine. You do take your job seriously. <laughs> of course. A warrior cannot be lax in his or er, her duties. I defend this island as my home. So you consider this place your home? You don't think of going back to your homeland? Not anymore. One cannot be both a warrior and a woman there. And I am done denying who I am. And I have one person to thank for all of that. One person, Heart? No, it's nothing. Please forget I said anything. Come on. I want to know who it was who changed you so much. But, but... Oh, you know who I'm talking about. I'm too embarrassed to say it out loud. Then let me say it first. Mikoto? I love you. You've taught me so much. You taught me what true strength is. You taught me how to love you. Can you say that a little louder, Aiden? <laughs> I love you for all that and more. I know it's difficult. But will you go out with me? Aiden. But most of the life I've lived so far has been a lie. And yet you love me. Yes, I do. I love you, Naruto. I'll see it as many times as you need. I see. Then I acknowledge your love. And I wish to give it in return. I've loved you for longer than I can remember. Thank you so much for loving me. Mm. She wish Makoto all the happiness. She she deserves it after after losing Essentially, her whole life, like everything that she's worked towards. Being a swordsman, uh, being the heir to her clan. 
uh, yeah, I do like, I do like sincerely wish for her to like have like a happy life. Even though fi I know it's like a fictional character, but I feel like she just deserves deserves to have all the happiness. Uh, okay, so that's the last that's the last gal. Wow, <laughs> everyone's at max max ten. So yeah, I'll do a little bit more hopping and skipping around. Although I think tomorrow we'll just next episode we'll just go to bed normally. There's there's harmony day. Why are we having a double date with Bismarck? <laughs> I guess I didn't change the icon for Sierra and Bismarck. <laughs> they just like use the birthday icon, I'm guessing. <laughs> but it seems like we're having a double date. <laughs> oh, we get to date both siblings. Oh my. Uh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see how many festivals. If we're quick about it, because technically like all the new dialogue is just centered around Sonia. Uh, so yeah, it's like Harmony Day. We'll like do our date. With Sierra. <laughs> we have New Year's Day. We'll probably set up another date too. Like have a spring date. And then yeah, we'll see how many how many uh festivals we can jam pack. And one day, also summer, we should be able to see swimsuits for Sonia and Makoto. Very important. I'm not sure if like Bismarck has a swimsuit. I gotta find out. Cause like he has concept art of him in swim trucks, but I have never seen him go to the beach. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of stalking, or else uh, it might be like a Sonya only thing that he goes in swim trunks. Cause Makoto, you can only see, you can only see Makoto in a swimsuit after she cuts her hair and declares herself a woman. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of festivals there. And then I guess we'll get- we'll probably get married in the fall. That's- that's the plan. And maybe we'll do fall and winter, we'll have weddings for... For Aiden. I feel like spring is like the perfect time for like Sonya to get married because like the cherry blossoms and her hair, just like, oh, it's the perfect- the perfect setting. Uh, but yeah, that's the tentative plan. So, let's save here and things off for now. Take a little breaky break. Well, now we have maxed out friendship with everyone. It's gonna start, like, rotating again. <laughs> rotating friendships. Before it was, like, only Sonya, because they gave her extra brownie points. Alright, anywho, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fun and relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, bye-bye.